I ran a bush on for him on my car, but I didn't have to get what TV. So, we don't have to say yeah, the president. Um, If you're just joining us, let's welcome you to the pre the burial service for meeting the second first lady of our fourth republic, Thank you. 
Association of Past Ola Girls and from the Nurses and Midwifery Fraternity.
from the Global Association of Past Bola Girls. On that fateful day, 1st October 2023, we rose to the sound of bird song, but at all the songs grew faint. Grass horse hoppers dragged along and stirred the morning laboriously. Loss is part of life, but knowing this does not make it any easier. Oh, the calls, the persis persistent telephone calls, all bearing the same news. That death has snatched yet another hard-working, loving, and soft-spoken gem of Bula. The news of your death spread like wildfire, and threw everyone into disarray. The phone calls from confused old girls kept crisscrossing. Once upon a time in the 1940s, one Mr. Joseph Harry Mensa, a stout Catholic, wanted to give his precious daughter a good Catholic education. He contacted his friend, Toby Lucas Tamaku, a merchant and a native of Keta, to seek admission for little Theresa at the Keta Girls' Convent linked to the Our Lady of Apostles Ola Secondary School. The convent school at that time attracted young girls from Accra, Almina, Kumasi, Takradi, and the other big towns. Theresa was one of them. Mama Theresa was a member of the 1950-year group. Among her gem classmates were Alice Paco Pome, Comfort Sakifio, Odilia Blavo, Evelyn Tamaku, and Gladys Christ, all of blessed memory. Mama Theresa upheld the values of her Catholic faith and her alma mater. She was a brave woman with strong Christian principles, a woman with a ready smile for everyone. She was a virtuous woman. She had integrity. She was diligent persistent and full of compassion. Her classmates were not surprised that Mama Teresa became a nurse because caring for the suffering and the needy was second nature to her. Although she came under the spotlight with her husband, when her husband became president of Ghana, she stayed her usual private person. We past and present girls of Ola are proud of her achievements and never fail to brag about her to sister schools. How sad that death has snatched our role model from us. One of her surviving classmates, Madame Theresa, recalls Madame Theresa's jovial, mischievous temperament. Reminiscing about her Keta convent days, she says that whenever a teacher was absent and late for class, the young Theresa would stand in front of the class. Ola Keta was because Ola Keta was one of the only two schools in Ghana. Mama Theresa attended before leaving to pursue nursing training in the UK. She was passionate about her alma mater and its secondary school, Ola. It became a choice, a school of choice for her extended family and some of her nephews taught at the whole school. As a guest of honor at our Golden Jubilee in 2004, she noticed that the school lacked an assembly hall. She took a and facilitated the construction and furnishing of the current assembly hall the envy of sister schools to date. For Ola's 65th anniversary, even though Mama Theresa could not be present, she made sure her daughter, Nanama, represented her. There is a natural time for all of life's adventures to come to an end. Mama Theresa, we can say with joy and tears that you spent time to discover the best in others and you left the world better than you found it. Because of you, many people have lived better lives. All Ola girls, past and present, say fairly well. 
We plead that God Almighty, whom you serve devotedly, keep you safe in his bosom. Adieu. God be with you to we'll meet again. Amen. So, hola. We need a youth choir. Hello. Hello, I'm I come with tribute to every year. I'm going to say, we need a youth choir for the takeover. Now, I'm going to show you.
The Inspector General of the Ghana Police Service, Dr. George Ikuku Dambari. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency Olusegun Obasanjo. Ably accompanied by Ghana's Minister for Touring Affairs and Regional Integration, the Honorable Shelley Ayoko Bochi.
For a great service rendered to this country as a nurse and a midwife, we're joined by the nurses and midwives fraternity as they pay their respects for the tribute. We're joined by the Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of Ghana, the Right Honorable Alba Sumana Bakke.
so much when I'm in Tribute by the Nessus and Mimi Free Fraternity. of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 73 verse 26 and I believe. It is with heavy hearts that we come together to mourn the loss of a remarkable Her Excellency the Commonwealth Lady and Lady Professor so let's go yeah. very quickly so that we pause now to recognize the fourth president of our fourth republic his Excellency John Dramani Mahama. We welcome you warmly, Your Excellency John Dramani Mahama. Our former First Lady, Mrs. Teresa Kufour, yeah, was an yeah. advocate we'll for the it. welfare of the Ghanaian people. Her commitment to the betterment of healthcare services, particularly in the field of nursing and midwifery, left an indelible mark on our professions. We now pause to receive the Vice President of our Republic, His Excellency Anahaji Dr. Muhammad Fawia. We welcome you warmly, Your Excellency Haji Dr. Muhammad Baumian, Vice President of our Republic. As the wife of the former President of Ghana, His Excellency Mr. John Ajikun she tirelessly supported in his endeavors and played an instrumental role in shaping the nation's health Her Excellency, the late Mrs. Oh, you're a good one. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
everywhere that one I tell you is true and uh lady was a, was a nest so national midwifery council they are here to also pay their last respect to the former